Bjorn and Samara here and today I'm gonna talk about this one thing that well it's not bad or anything but it is something that oh, yeah anyway yes so is there one thing I am gonna talk about that is it a bad thing or not? Well, I guess it depends on how you look at it. Well, so, all right. So, this might be one more time I talk about it, and then I'd be done with it. And there are many things I have not talked about in a long time. Now, from 2008, while I think up to 2013, well, uh, there have been a lot of name calling, making fun of, picking on, bullying, that's what it came down to. Um, folks who felt that what was being done on this YouTube uh, fairway was wrong, that it was childish, that the one who ran the YouTube fairway, Dwayne needed to grow up get a job, do this, do that. Now keep in mind, these folks had the right to their belief or their thought. But at the end of the day, all it was was a belief and thought. There was no truth to it. You know, if they could go around, if, they could, if on YouTube he was the only one doing it, then they may have had some grounds to be right. But on YouTube, a lot of folks were doing a lot of things, you know, and there were a lot of folks that were doing this thing as well. And that's, that was irking me. And YouTube's probably going to pick it where I'm not even close to the shooter. Just watch, it'll do that. So where was I? So anyway, a lot of folks were doing this same thing that Dwayne was doing, or many other folks were doing it. But why they picked him out of all of them to uh, bully, pick on, name call, whatever, my only guess was they thought that he may have been an easy goal. I may have thought he was a smooth goal. And that if they could run him off or whatever their goal was then they could get everyone else to stop doing what they were doing you know like look what happened to him you don't want to be like him um i don't truly know what their grounds were you know they behaved like that it was wrong it was sinful it was wicked it was evil they had no truth to it but that's how they behaved like they behaved like they were doing the greater good by doing all that, but the truth was they were not. They would always say, <clears throat> they would say that Dwayne was the bad one, that he was doing all the wrongs, that he was, you know, doing all these things that everyone else on YouTube wasn't doing, and they like to go around and say, oh, he's like Christian Wessler Chandler. Or was it Christopher Westler and Chandler, one of the two, that he was as bad as he was? But at the end of the day, Dwayne had was not doing the same things that this Lord was doing on YouTube. So anyway, first it started out with mean words on the films and on the fairway, and then they started getting more bolder, and it became mean films, and. <clears throat> when that didn't work, then came the hacking. And then after that came the false, the fake telling, which got, you know, maybe two fairways locked up. Well, actually, shut down would actually be the good word of saying. Locked up meant you couldn't get into them, and shut down meant you shut them down. So, like, we may have shut down one or two of them, and the other ones were locked up. And this was before the YouTube's warning and free strikes oversight came into uh, 
came into uh, being. So, and at the end of the day, it just looked like they were the ones that were, you know, misbehaving. And they were the ones that had to hang up. They like to go around and say that Dwayne did all these, all these mean, bad things that they were guilty of doing, either on their fairway, on their films, or what they were writing, you know. And at the end of the day, there was nothing Dwayne could do about it. Yeah, he could go tell YouTube that these folks were, you know, not following YouTube oversight or YouTube followership oversight, but YouTube may or may not see it that way. So there was always that seat. So, oh yeah, and Dwayne did make a lot of films. We did make a lot of films on, on these folks back in the day behaving or at least coming off as being mad when really, the truly we were not irked by any of it and we were only show playing, but at the end of the day, they thought that they were, they thought that Dwayne was the bad one and he needed to be off the interweb. I don't know. They just thought they were. They could overlook the way they behaved. You know? It's like these folks actually thought that this was bad. You know? That's what they believed. So, at the end of the day, there's really anything Dwayne could do, or anything anyone can do, is only run or lead themselves. You have no run or lead over anyone else. So he made a pick about soon to be seven years ago not to talk to them, not to watch their films. You know, if they write something down on the film or on a fairway, then they get locked. And that's it. And uh, it has, that was the only thing we could do. Since the end of the day, dealing with folks who see the interweb as nothing more than some bullying, picking on, making fun tool, and to them it's not, it's not true life, so who cares what you say and what you do? And there's really nothing you can do about folks out there that want the interweb to be this earnest, truthful, frank thing, and when they come across, when they meet when they seek something or see something that's what I should say because because cross is a French it's a Latin bar word and it shouldn't crack with the cracks when they what when they when they watch something or somehow see something that they feel is not right they uh, get all irked and mad and then they become a wretch anyway so what they do is, is they used to always say, oh, he want, they want, he wants to be taken to earnest. I think the one that's getting irked and mad at a film is the one that wants to be taken to earnest, not the one that isn't getting irked and mad or wretched over anything. That's what I believe, you know? So did he, did we do anything? Did Dwayne do anything to get any of this hate? No. I didn't do nothing in his hate. No one got it. Was it overdue? Was it like, oh, well, you didn't get bullied? Was it like, it was like Lucifer's like, well, you didn't get bullied enough when you were growing up, so time to make up for it with some, so some interweb bullying where folks who are grown up when they're not on the interweb, but as soon as they get on the interweb, they, uh, they become childish, and these are these are folks out there that um, uh, they had nothing nothing to do but seek out folks that they can make fun of and put down for whatever grounds. None of it's good. No, didn't do nothing. Just did this, you know. So at the end of the day, it is what it is, you know, and. <clears throat> Am I, are they going to be done talking about this? Well, I don't think I'm ever going to be done talking about it. And I can make as many films on it as I want to make on it, but at the end of the day, I don't really think I'm ever going to be, get everything I need to get into my, into the films. 
But at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, it was the past. I had to go through it for whatever grounds. And you learn something from it. I didn't. And what I learned was how to deal with it. That was when I learned from it. Did the ones that bullied and picked on and made fun of learn anything from it? Well, the answer would be no. Because <clears throat> mostly, if they're not bullying and picking on you, sadly they're bullying and picking on someone else. So, they did not learn nothing. At the end of the day, their thoughts and beliefs have, had kept the same for seven long years. And good for them if they believe all that. It's not true, but if that's what they believe, good for them. Anyway, I'm Sailor Yornis Amara. Hope hope you like this film.